Hi you guys, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. As always, this sign is up because my family always puts in their order. <laughs> and today it was for crack chicken. Their favorite way I cook chicken in a crock pot. They love theirs wrapped up in tortillas and I like mine in a hamburger bun. But you can certainly put it over rice, over pasta, Y'all, it is so easy to make, but I promise you, it is so delicious. Okay, guys, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get out our crock pot and just start putting everything into it. One and a half to two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, some cream cheese. Now, we like to add diced green chilies because they add such a nice flavor to it. And then we have dried ranch mix here. Now this is my homemade version. Now I will link it down below in the description box if you want to check out how to make your own homemade ranch dressing mix. So um, it's so delicious you guys and it keeps for a very very long time. Okay let's go ahead and put this all together. Now the cheese and the bacon will come at a later stage. In the bottom of the crock pot, we're going to go ahead and lay our chicken breast. We're going to sprinkle our dried ranch dressing. We're going to place our eight ounces of cream cheese right on top. And then I've got my green chilies, about four ounces, and I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the top. All right, we're going to place our lid on it. We're going to cook this on low for six to seven hours or on high between four to five hours. It all depends on the thickness of your chicken. And then when we come back, I'm going to finish this off for you. Right, we're going to go ahead now and take the lid off. Now I am using my meat chopper here. What we want to do is take all the chicken and shred it all up. Now, if you don't want to use a meat chopper or you don't have one, you can pull your chicken out, place it on a cutting board, and at that point you can shred all of your chicken and then put it back into the crock pot here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the meat chopper and do this all in one dish here. And I want to break that chicken up until it is all shredded. And at this point, your chicken should be nice and tender. Okay, at this point, what we're going to do is place our lid back onto the crock pot and we're going to cook this for about 15 minutes until all the flavors meld together. Okay, let's go ahead and take the lid off. And what I'm going to do now is I've got about one to one and a half cups of these bacon crumbles that I'm going to put in. Now you can bake, broil, or fry your bacon if you want to do that and just crumble it up. Just make sure that you are using some actual cooked bacon for this. I've got one to one and a half cups of some shredded cheddar cheese. Now you can use any kind of flavored cheese that you would like. Now I've diced three green onions, the green parts there, and I'm going to add those. Let's go ahead now and place the lid back on and cook this for an additional 15 minutes until we get that cheese nice and melted. And then we're going to stir it all up. Okay, so I mixed everything all up together. Look how delicious that looks, you guys. I'm going to be putting this on a bun. My husband likes to eat this on tortillas along with my son. So let's plate this up and show you what we got here. Okay guys, what do you think of my creamy crack chicken in the crock pot? One of our favorites. I'm going to take a bite for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. That is so delicious, you guys. Mm. 
Well, let me tell you, I've got this on an onion bun here. Those are so delicious. Okay, the green chilies that went in here, it's not hot, you guys. Four ounces spread throughout this whole dish. It adds a nice flavor to it also, though. Mmm, that bacon. Okay, guys, who's making this one? Drag your crock pot out, some delicious ingredients, and there you go. Okay, thanks so much for stopping by to watch me make my crack chicken in the crock pot. Guys, give me a thumbs up for this one. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. Also, find me on Facebook, Instagram, and check out my blog, www.catherinesplates.com for many more recipes. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next episode.